What's good, y'all? It's the Dumachettes React and we're back, back with, with another, another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're we new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. We're enjoying our final moments here at Forodani House. And for breakfast, we're actually having some Swahili uh, breakfast dishes, which looks really beautiful and very delicious. So we've got Mahamri, Kaimati, then Riyazi Karai, and the Kaimati. It kind of looks like a donut. It's yeah. just kneaded. Oh. And then it's put in that shape, then deep fried. Then it's sugar coated. I really, really love coastal dishes. The flavors are so simple, yet they're so delicious. Mm. Nalamu is an island that's off the coast of Kenya, and until about a year ago, you could only fly here because the road getting to the mainland where you could get a ferry and come to Lamu it was broken up and it was a little unsafe to travel with but now they've paved the whole road so you can actually drive to a place I think it's called Garsen and from there you grab a Dao to make your way onto Lamu a while ago Lamu was actually deemed an unsafe place to travel to but a lot has changed it's been quite a few years Security over here has been beefed up, uh, tourism has developed and this place, it's honestly one of the most beautiful places that you can come to visit while you're in Kenya. Donkey, donkey, donkey. Right now we're walking through the town of Shella and we're making our way through this labyrinth of really yeah, narrow alleyways. The walls have so this really rustic vibe to them. I love how the buildings over here look so old, so faded so ancient there's a lot of detail that you can even see through these uh, buildings and stuff the, it's like it's like a photographer's dream because of all the textures mm. that you can see on the walls no doubt, you know no the doubt. last time i came here i met someone uh. who told me i'll take you for a, a swahili wedding <laughs> he's like but you know you have to pay me because oh, we, we give them donations so i paid him like 500 shillings not much but then come come the evening of that day mm -hmm. and the guy was nowhere to be found <laughs> and I was just sitting there feeling so dumb <laughs> oh, I think we're lost and I'm the one who's leading the way <laughs> Wow! <laughs> I mean yeah uh, I don't be surprised it's me <laughs> Like amazing, I think huh? we should go left. Oh, left? Yeah, and, and then right left. there, look, there's more cool buildings there. I think it's the one. So this is so cool. They've taken so many glass bottles and they've just cemented them right into the walls. Talk about being environmentally friendly. This is so freaking cool. This wall goes on for at least 50 meters because donkeys are like the main mode of transport over here. You can smell a lot of their poop. It's so pungent and I just smacked myself into two trees. So that's that's just a message over there that says dress appropriately when you're walking in this area because this is Swahili uh, Muslim culture and in their culture right. they're more reserved, you right. know, not wearing revealing clothes and respect that. You gotta respect the culture. Look at that view, man. Well, so far, bro, my thoughts of Lamu is very nice looking, bro. Everything around them looks mad clean. Um, yeah. It, it, it looked like a real vibe. It looked like a good tourist spot as well. It really do. It mm -hmm. reminds me so much of Morocco. No, I feel it. I feel it. That's real cool. Yeah. Welcome to Peponi Hotel. Beautiful views. Not oh, so wait. beautiful prices. Uh -oh. And we in Kenya, y'all. Gotta okay? mention that. You gotta mention that. We in Kenya. We've seen a different side of Kenya. Now, I know last time he took us... He had some really good Kenyan vlogs. He took us... To a fishing village, I believe it was. Mm, been a minute. I don't know. But he's taking us to a whole new side of Kenya. We be telling y'all we are low on Kenyan videos. Okay? Yeah. We don't want to react to the Matatu every day. <laughs> <laughs> y'all keep on sending us the Matatu. We want to see Kenya. Facts, facts. All right. So thank y'all to whoever sent this one in. Let's get it. It's expensive. But that, that view is amazing. The, the breeze is so nice. 
and I'm sure the food is good but we're, <laughs> we're gonna go to the other Swahili place that we ate at on the first day. I mean like I, I, I like Swahili dishes better anyway. So Raj decided to go to another restaurant and left us here. Yeah. We are going to try the food here and we can assure you guys it is better than where he is. The size. It's amazing. The atmosphere. It's the, view. the view is beautiful. This is a way better view. <laughs> this outside was a bit more air. I got a poke bowl, which is like a Hawaiian dish. I got some avocado rolls I wanted something light. We have ordered like some curry, prawns, yeah, chips, the Swahili pizza, and it's all it's at literally grits. a fraction of the like price. Yeah, I got a dawa. I don't know, I don't like some. Let's see. We have ordered curry, prawns, chips, the. Yeah, yeah, that's rice, that's rice. Okay, that's nice. And Swahili sauce. pizza, yeah, yeah. and it's all at literally a fraction of the price. And then I got a dawa, a classic coastal drink. Yeah. <sighs> Coconuts by the beach. What more could you ask for? Yeah, they, they got better food. It was so uh, amazing. Uh -huh. I had a sushi bowl. But the question is, it be you, ours. you came all the way to Lamu to eat what you could get in Nairobi. No, no, no. You uh -oh. can't get that in Nairobi because you can't, you can't trust it in Nairobi. Bye <laughs> bye, for Dani. Oh, I'm gonna miss that place. We've made it to Lamu Town and we're making our way to our accommodation that we're going to be staying at for the next three nights. It's called One Way House. In we enter into this new villa paradise which is One Way House and oh my freaking gosh, this is beautiful. Really? So it has a little bit of a different vibe compared to Forodani uh, because we're in Lamu Old Town. Most of the houses here have that old vibe to it, so that's why you'll even notice that the paint is a little bit chippy and rusted. Even the rooms nah, look, that's you nice. know, they have I that really lie. old vibe to them. You got that traditional style. Bro, you keep of... talking like, he keeps saying older vibe, but like as you're looking at it, it's real up to date, it's real nicely developed. Mm, like it's classic. It's given, you know what I'm it's saying? It's never gonna go out of style. Exactly, exactly. The doors. This is, I, I love how detailed they get with I the carpet, true workmanship. This right here is the view from the house. The beautiful little town of Lamu. It's night time, we're walking through the streets of Lamu town. This place looks so cool in the night with all the different alleyways, the old buildings, the textures, the really rustic look. And we're going to go and get some dinner now. So back home in Nairobi, there's this one restaurant that we keep going to. It's called Galbi's and the guy is actually from Lamu. So we asked him for a recommendation of where we can eat and he recommended this place called Mangrove Restaurant, which is kind of like a street food, sort of slightly developed-ish restaurant. Chicken tikka, chips, shawarmas, fish mushkaki, and a whole lot of food. Nice size place too. Whoa. She didn't like it. <laughs> oh, okay. A little bit of a late start to the day, but right now we're out looking for some lunch. Uh, last night's dinner didn't sit that well with all of our stomachs, and so we're hoping that lunch is going to be better. The last time I was here in Lamu, there wasn't as much motorbikes, and this time around, there's so many. So there's something about Lately, people have been importing so many motorbikes here in Lamu and it just doesn't make sense because the streets are so narrow, yet people ride their bikes so rowdily. Hello guys, shop, my shop. No thank you, huh? No thank you. No, just easy prices. Get it to her, get it to her. Wait, but didn't we, didn't we just see you somewhere? <laughs> That's my brother. That's my brother. Family business. No thank you. Don't cry, don't cry. No, no. I, no. 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 Get away from me, man. Get away from me. <laughs> Food experience here, not been the best, huh? Successful experience. See, my stomach is saying zero. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> like we 
we, we really haven't had much luck with the food uh, situation here in Namu. It's been a hit or miss. Like sometimes it's seven out of ten, sometimes it's a six. I think the best place that I've eaten at so far is at Sea Soup. Other than yeah. that, eh. on to another taxi boat. We go. The rainbow. Right now we're making our way to one of my favorite beaches. It's called Manda Beach on Manda Island. And to get there is actually quite reasonable. It's 150 shillings per person to get onto a taxi boat to make your way all the way there. Why are you questioning me regarding my favorite beaches? <laughs> okay, okay. So 150 shillings to get there? It's How not much bad. is that? It's not see. bad. Let's see. 150. Okay, it don't seem look. like it would be much. No, no, no. I don't believe so. I don't believe so at all. But he did say the, uh, the food was expensive. Okay. 14 cents? 14 cents? Oh, okay. For this to be a mode of transportation, that's not bad. At all. You know? At all. Oh, wait, but one you thing I do want to say. Uh -huh. One thing I do want to say is that, like, if a person was visiting Lamu Island, I, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, Lamu Island. Mm -hmm. The good thing about it is they wouldn't need a car. To get around. I, I thought about that, right? Not um, yeah, yeah. You got donkeys as well. And donkeys. Yeah, I wonder if they rent out like their motorbikes. Hmm. I mean, because hmm. he did mention it, they now have more of them, so that may be a part of a you know transportation yeah. thing now. But that seems like it would be too fast for for the little streets. Nah, yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. In a world, you have to have gone to multiple beaches, hence you've done a compilation of the beaches that you've been to, your best. But I mean, I have been to like a few beaches in my life, so yeah, that's why you're called kind of travel. I'm sure you've been to many more, right? And I can uh, tell you, sure. you're you on the boat that size? You're going that fast? Too close to the boat. And the sand is so fine. Oh yeah. Oh my god. That is amazing. So you're telling me beaches in Spain have softer sand than this? Actually one of the beaches do. <laughs> one of the beaches. This is like every beach in Kenya. Well almost. Lamo. And maybe Diani a little bit. A little bit of Otamo. I think that beach is really nice and soft. This is freaking amazing. Look at it. It's so Yeah, it's like It's like you're walking on clouds and baby powder. This place brings back so many memories. We're now at the Majlis Resort and we're here to have some drinks, enjoy the sunset. The first time I came to Lamu, I stayed here for 6 days and it was actually the first time that I got a collaboration with the hotel and it was probably the happiest time of my life this place was such an amazing place all the things we did here so beautiful so I'm so glad also, to be back even if it's for a few cocktails here and there this is the life I know it's a real I even put my camera down just to watch it what's a time at the beach with a beautiful sunset if you don't go in and swim Cue us running into the sunset. <laughs> this here is easily one of the best sunsets I've ever experienced in my life. And it's still going on. You have those cotton candy skies, silhouettes all over, people doing photo shoots, Harley and Zanel. The rest of the family everyone's having such a great time this is amazing wow and <laughs> i can't get over how freaking soft the sand is look at how the water is just reflecting those turquoise blues the pinks cheers guys to a freaking awesome sunset wow It is our final moments here at One Way House Lamu and our final moments here in Lamu we're going to be checking out in about an hour and everyone's going to be going their own way so Zanel and I are heading off to Lamu while the rest of the family are going back to Nairobi and 
you know how it is all good things must come to an end but sometimes it's really sad when they do come to an end because each of these different destinations have their own experiences their own uniqueness thank you for everything we really enjoyed ourselves you're welcome you're welcome thank you for letting me be adventurous thing <laughs> all right guys and with that it has come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed it please hit that hey, i'm gonna stop right there man and make sure you guys go check his channel out appreciate all the views all the locations that he brought us to yeah, i think yeah. it's a beautiful uh, place lamu it's called um right there in kenya so yeah, let us know if this will be a place that you guys will like really enjoy vacating to and checking out yes yes yeah. This will be a place I know we would love to go. Because nah, this fact, is like fact. a little Caribbean island. It's given, ain't it? In Kenya. Come on, man. Listen, let us know, all right? We hope you guys enjoy this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.